This modest home was the setting, a bitter custody battle over a six-year-old Cuban boy named Elian Gonzalez, ripping Miami apart. Former U.S. Attorney Kendall Coffey fought to keep Elian in Miami. But it was definitely a difficult time. It was, it was a hurtful time. Today, the Elion House in Little Havana is a museum, a collection of all things Elion Gonzalez. It was 10 years ago Thursday that federal agents forcibly removed the six-year-old to reunite him with his father. And the world remembered this Pulitzer Prize-winning Associated Press photograph. In the 10 years since then, Elion has been used as a symbol of triumph by Fidel Castro and other Cuban government officials occasionally turning up on Cuban TV. Here, Elian, now 16, is dressed in his communist youth uniform, speaking at a youth congress. Cuban officials have repeatedly denied requests for interviews with Elian or his father. Elian was only with his Miami relatives for five months, but the bonds were close. Maris Laces Gonzalez becoming a mother figure after Elian's mom had drowned at sea. Maris Laces, who now runs this beauty salon in Miami, says she is doing well, but declined to talk about the case. Delphine Gonzalez, one of Elian's great uncles, runs the museum. He is still bitter about what he sees as a political decision by Attorney General Janet Reno to take Elian away. I told her on various occasions that we were not going to take him anywhere. If they wanted for them to get him, and pay the political consequences of storming a home. Consequences? After Elion, Kendall Coffey worked for Al Gore in the 2000 recount, saying with a 537-vote margin in Florida, the Elion battle cost Democrats the White House. There is no doubt that uh, in the minds of many in this community, the, uh, the Democratic administration had to be accountable for what was seen as, as a terrible treatment of a child and a terrible uh, treatment of the child's family. Today's anniversary is a quiet one here. No huge marches or rallies. Coffee and others say while the community has not forgotten Elion, many, if not all, have tried to move on. Tony Winton, the Associated Press, Miami.